be here at your open house. Well, thanks so much for joining me. So today I thought maybe you could tell us a success story of a client you've recently helped close an escrow with. Well, one recent uh, purchase transaction, I helped a client with a young man who's about 29 uh, get into his first house and uh, we had him completely underwritten in advance so that we could offer very aggressive loan terms and a 15 day close. And so it was a great, not only working with him, but his dad who helped with the down payment. And it's wonderful in our business to get to know the families, not just the one buyer, but the entire family. And so uh, that was a really nice experience and it was a pleasure working with his agent as well. Oh, great. And what was the interest rate that you're able to get someone in on the property if it's a single family home these days? Well, this particular guy, I got him at 3.99%. Uh, now rates have been dropping and we could probably get that down to about 3.5, 3.65 today. That is amazing. Okay, so this is uh, 2019. What do you anticipate is going to happen when we get to 2020? I know when I'm at an open house, a lot of people are always asking me, should I buy now or should I wait? That's always the $2 million question. And I would say that our market should stay strong with rates being low. I, I still see a lot of buyer activity. I think buyers are being a little bit more choosy about not wanting to get in over their head on something that might be priced too high for them. So I still see buyers being careful, but uh, our market remaining strong. Sounds good. Well, you know what? I just can hear someone is about to enter the door. So I think that's the end of our little interview. Greg, thanks so much. Looks like we're back at work. Let's get at it, Elisa.